heat pump systems with cooling and with fan coils. I usually talk about heating and heating systems, but heat pump can, can also do cooling. But you need to take care of some additional points in comparison with heating. Let's see on one real uh, life example. Here, I made some basic scheme, but I will put real one of a scheme, which is really complicated in one house. So we have heat pump in the unit and outdoor, and we have different setups. So house is big. We have one buffer, 200 liters for heating and volumizer, 100 liter on return for cooling. Cool. This debate, but buffer, volumizer, and, and so on is not important now, but in my opinion, it's much better to, if you have buffer, to have buffer in, in cooling and volumizer in heating. And you will see also why. So in this example, assumption was really high in heating. In cooling, a unit never works. So always some errors and really bad for the customer. Customer called, said nothing is working. And this is hydraulic scheme. Unit is faulty and so on. Well, I came to the site. And first thing, we realized that between indoor and outdoor, so outdoor is not so important here, but between indoor and outdoor unit, instead of refrigerant pipes 16 and 10, installer puts 22. So refrigerant uh, technology and guys who are from that field will know what, what this means. We will try to explain refrigerant technology in the future, but for now you need to add additional refrigerant. And also because installation was, I think, 25 meter. So for 25 meter, you have gas pipe way bigger than must be. And liquid pipe is fine after startup. No one realized that wrong pipe is here. And they started unit in, in cooling. And a few times heat pump showed flow rate error. So too low, too low flow. Because in cooling, we have pump from, from heat pump. So circulator pump here, let's say it's pumping the water through fan coils and from return to volumizer. To, to increase the volume and going back. So after a few times, customer said that plate heat exchanger from indoor unit was broken. Usually it means that it was around zero degrees or even lower. And because of the ice heat exchanger was broken. So they started to go deep what is going on. And when I, when I came, I said, so let's see how it's going. And Different calls are not working. This one was working sometimes, but these two, 10 ki uh, five and five, so 10 kilowatts was not working. And I propose uh, next thing. So let here, valves are missing on this scheme, but you will see it on original scheme. Uh, let uh, uh, remove this valve and let's try to cool this big buffer. Also, what was uh, interesting for me from consumption point of view, uh, customer said that the expansion valve and compressor was always on full. And I said, let's see uh, what is going on. We put only buffer. So close the valve there, close the fan coils, turned off and tried to cool these 200 liters. It was, I think water was around 20 degrees and we achieved set point, set, we put set point 10 and we achieved eight degrees here. So eight degrees in around 20 minutes. So when you put everything on paper, this heat pump, which is 15 or 16 kilowatt, could easily cool this water and expansion wall was not full open. Compressor was not on full load. So it was modulating. Customer said that never, never saw this modulation. And we had return uh, around 13. So Delta T5, so return was Return was 13 degrees, Delta T5. So everything was clear. Then 
I said, okay, now let's see how fan coil, how fan coils are working. We activate this pump. This is modulating pump, Grunfos modulating pump. And we saw, okay, this fan coil is working really good when it's alone. When we put, when we turn on this too, it's not working. And on Grunfos pump, when all three was on, we can see that flow rate here is around 10 liters per minute. So this is enough for one fan coil for 3.5. What we need, we need 38 liters per minute for 13.5 kilowatt. And at that moment, it was clear for me that they had, they had some issue on installation. And after a while, installer said that he changed the pipes here, changed the pipes, here is also missing return, but not so important for, for now, but just to be correct. So he, he changed the pipes, which one for fan calls could be probably in working, but in reality, it, it must work and it must have flow rate and that there are no motor valves inside on, of fan coils. In reality, there was motor valves inside and there was some problem with flow rate. Also, what is not, what was not clear for the customer and for installer is how with this setup we can work, with this setup we cannot work. It's not about volume of the water, it's about setup. So here we are always heating or cooling only, only buffer. And for heat pump flow rate will be fine. Everything will be satisfied. You will not have flow errors. You will not have frozen heat exchanger. And what is going on there, it's not the problem of manufacturer or heat pump. At the point when this pump must control fan coils or for heating or radiators, whatever, in that case, fan coils, in that case, it's mandatory to ensure enough flow rate and enough volume because with lower volume and in this case with lower flow rate and with low refrigerant charge, after a while they, they fill the refrigerant, you can risk that your temperature on heat exchanger will be too cold and you will have the case like we have here. So heat pump, uh, early heat pump has uh, sensors, algorithm to stop the unit if set point is reached or if uh, it's too cold, but for very low flow rate, so for, for this only 3.5 kilowatt, very low flow rate, it cannot stop immediately. And in that case, you have, you have the problem. This is, someone will say in cooling, you must always ensure this. This is also not the problem. If you have enough volume, enough pressure drop, and if you don't have motor valves, which will close the fan coils or radiators. And what is also missing here, even if you have it, such kind of, of a regulation. So installer and designer, they thought there are no valves. So we, we have, we have always enough flow rate, but it's always good to put something like this. So bypass valve, which will open if flow rate is not, not enough. In that case, they will not have the problem. Of course, fan coils will not, they will not work, but they will not have a problem for heat pump, for frozen heat exchanger and so on. So on this bypass valve, for example, on 16 kilowatt, 10 liter is much lower than minimum. So you can set up around 13 liter per minute. And in that case, you will always have enough flow rate. Also, it was not clear for customer and for installer why this pump is working. So this Grunfos pump and this pump is not working. They said that this pump is not strong enough to feed these fan coils. This is not true because this pump is stronger than this pump, but internal pump of heat pump needs to follow algorithm and needs to have minimum flow rate to have proper operation. This pump could work on minimum much lower than, than this one. So in this example, someone who is, who said usually, and which philosophy is that always buffer like hydraulic switch is needed, will say, yeah, you will not have the case if you, if you have this, but you will also not have the case if you have bypass 
if you have enough flow rate and if you can, if you have full installation setup like a manufacturer is providing. And this is the case why usually customers are disappo disappointed because this customer was really disappointed about heat pumps. It's not about the heat pump or boiler or whatever. And it's not about manufacturer. So this is the basic, the basic for all systems. It doesn't matter who is the manufacturer, doesn't matter who is the manufacturer of the valves or the buffers and so on. So you need to ensure two things. First one is flow rate. And second one is system volume. And from hydraulic point of view, you will have everything fine. With flow system volume, you will sometimes have a problem in cooling. In heating, you will not have this kind of a problem. You will have a lot of cycling. But with low flow rate, in cooling, you are you will murder the, uh, the unit as this was the case. Thank you for watching. Explanation was, I hope it was clear. Even this, this setup was a little bit complicated, but you can put pause on the, uh, on the point where I put complete scheme and then leave a comment or send me email or message to, if you want uh, more explanation. Thanks and see you.